NASA made history tonight to save the planet from future destruction. NASA flew a spacecraft to its doom and straight into the history books tonight in the first test of whether Earth can defend itself from a catastrophic asteroid strike. KPIX 5's Betty Yu spoke with a Bay Area scientist who helped make it happen. Betty? Andrea, Bay Area scientists took part in NASA's first ever planetary defense test, and this moment was more than eight years in the making. Oh my gosh. Oh my this is the moment scientists has celebrated a first of its kind mission to knock a celestial object off course. Ten months ago, NASA launched a spacecraft the size of a refrigerator from Vandenberg in California. On Monday night, they deliberately crashed it into an asteroid the size of the Statue of Liberty, about 7 million miles from Earth. I just could not believe it. The, the energy in the room was just incredible because... We had all been anticipating this moment for many years, and the uh, perseverance of the of the DART engineering team through the pandemic. Megan brooks Sayal, who leads the Lawrence Livermore National Labs a planetary defense team, was part of the double asteroid redirection test, or DART. All of us that have contributed to the mission over the last eight, myself and my team have contributed over the last eight years, so it was, it was really emotional moment. A lot of people were crying. I mean, it was just, it was really special. This photo shows the moment of impact. Lawrence Livermore National Lab provided impact simulations and analysis for the mission. In media, we often think of blowing up an asteroid in lots of pieces. This is not that. This is a, a gentle nudge so that most of it stays together. There's just a, a, a really um, big impact plume. Sayal said her team will now start running 3D simulations of the event. This test will help scientists prepare for future threats that could be much closer to Earth. We are showing that planetary defense is a global endeavor and it is very possible to save our planet. It could actually be months before we know whether today's test actually redirected that asteroid. And that's okay because NASA says the Earth is not in danger of an asteroid strike in the next 100 years. Andrea? It's amazing how far science has come. Thank you so much, Betty.